everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome to something a little bit different we are doing a custom sign for this guy custom sign for Candyman. Now, if you don't know who Candyman is, check out his channel, guys. If you're into custom paint and you want to know anything about the paint industry when it comes to cars, this channel is the one to check out, guys, because you will learn loads of stuff. Now, the sign we're doing for him is this one in the picture just here. This is a ground aluminium blue candy sign. Now, you can see the lion head on the front. That's Candyman's logo. We're going to be cutting another piece of aluminium out to the shape of the lion head and we're going to be raising that off the background aluminium with locators now sign locators are hidden locators that you can place on the back of something and you get two cups that you push together one would fix to the wall and then you would push fit the other piece so it's floating off the wall so have a little void at the back so that's what we're going to aim to do and in that little void at the back we're going to run some battening going round and i'm going to run some led lighting color changing on remote so we can change the colors and it can just halo across the aluminium and just set it off. To the bottom of the sign, we've got two spray guns that Candyman uses on the channel. We've got the DV1, so that's gonna to go to one side and then we've got the Segola 4600 Extreme. That's another gun that he uses. So they'll be left and right on the bottom of the panel. And then you've got his logo, the Candyman font, underneath to finish and then it will all be clear coated looking really nice and then we can get it sent over to the US and you'll see this on Candyman's channel. So today's video is going to be sort of prep, chopping the aluminium up. Tools we're going to be using today is a DeWalt 18 volt jigsaw, we've got that one set up. We've got different sanding discs to sand all the edges nice. I've got a hand plane to plane all the straights on the main piece of aluminium a disc grinder to round and radius all the corners off of the aluminium as well. So they're the bits. Gonna get some safety glasses, stick you on a tripod, drop you in time lapse with some music, and I will see you at the end when all these bits are cut out. So see you in a bit. In them time lapses, you see me chop the aluminium down, measured it up, chopped it down, scaled it up with the spray guns because they're going to be official size spray guns. They're going to be to scale. So I'll put my own spray guns on just to sort of mark out where we were going. Chopped the main piece of aluminium out with the silver side, done the beveled edges all the way round, and then went round with a scalpel, took any burrs off, sanded down, and used a plane and just hand plane the aluminium around the edges so that's all nice and smooth and then i projected up the candyman lion head scaled it up on a piece of uh, aluminium that was 400 by 400 square penciled round and then carefully jigsawed out all the pieces went in with a 240 disc by hand and just sanded all the intricate bits all the way around the lion head went in with the 500 to finish took the burrs off and then you see me going with a lighter because aluminium composite board is basically a sheet of aluminium, 
about a mil just over and then it's compressed onto a thick piece of black plastic and then it's got another sheet of aluminium underneath so it's pressed both sides so when you sand over the black edge that's sandwiched in between you get little fur raises that come with little furry bits so if you get a lighter just melt them back it just pulls them back into the aluminium and it's sorted so i'll give you a little pan round now so that's how it will look you've got to imagine these will be airbrushed to scale and the detail in the gun so you'll have a gun there and a gun there we'll have the Candyman logo just here and then you've got the lion head here now I've raised this off now this is how it will look when it's done not as high as this it'll be about an inch raise and on the inside of this head will be LEDs so when you hold this thing put it up against the wall the glow of the LEDs will come across the aluminium where this is going to be candid and ground metal effect so we're moving on quite quick the next episode is going to be showing you doing all the ground metal effects we'll clean it all down we'll start to do some prep work primer work and things like that and get the paints down so i hope you've enjoyed it don't forget check out Candyman's channel brilliant channel guys loads of info on there i'll leave a link in the description to that and i hope you can join me in part two on the Candyman side cheers <laughs>